Hey Aquarius, this is Bella Dutch from All Seeing Eye Tarot, here with your bi-weekly love scope. This is going to run from March the 4th through the 18th. Quick announcement, if you would like to win a free 30-minute reading, you have to timestamp each zodiac sign. So you got to go to all six videos here on All Seeing Eye Tarot, and you have to timestamp when I start shuffling each sign. Timestamp down in the comment board, okay? Now, if you want to win a free one hour, then you have to go to Extra Mile. You got to do all six here at All Seeing Eye Tarot, and then you need to go over to The Bella Dutch, click subscribe, and timestamp when I start each one of those uh, six zodiac signs as well. Okay? Make sure you are subscribed over there and your notification bell is pressed because there's no telling where I will put my winners. Okay? All right, here we go. Let's go. <clears throat> Spirit and Universe, what are the messages you have for the zodiac sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, March 4th through the 18th? Show me what is going down with my Aquarians. Okay, here we go, Aquarius. Okay, first card out, two of wands. The chariot. The four of wands. Under the two of wands, we got the sun. Under the chariot, seven of swords. Okay. Under the four of wands, ten of wands. Under the sun, the lovers in the world, Aquarius. Under the Seven of Swords, we got Judgment. Under the Ten of Wands is the Queen of Wands. Okay. Overall energy for my Aquarians, March 4th through the 18th, the Page of Swords. And I usually take the next card right up under that, and it is the Six of Swords. All right, Aquarius. Now... <laughs> I start laughing because this looks like I am speaking to Aquarius who literally may have been unfaithful to their partner uh, with someone who might be batshit crazy, okay, and makes where you live uncomfortable, all right? So, you may be thinking right now, Aquarius, of moving, moving out of town, moving out of state. The chariot card is there fourth one so this could be that you're looking into uh moving into a different place it could also be that maybe you have some um i honestly feel it's over relationships okay like maybe uh you dated somebody's wife somebody's girlfriend or boyfriend and now they're threatening where you live okay you could be possibly in danger where you stay at right now Maybe you were on social media and you showed your address of where you live at, okay, and now you're you're getting threats, okay, you're getting um, death threats, you know, that sort of thing where you have to pick up and you have to move in a hurry and you have to be um, quiet about where you're going. It's beginning to be too much. You're no longer comfortable in your home, okay, so you have to literally pick up and leave, okay? Um Another thing could be, Aquarius, that some of this, as far as love is concerned, it could be that you have been talking to someone for a little while now, okay? And you um, never seen on, you know, never thought of taking a relationship any farther. Like, you don't want to make it official. You don't want to make them your girlfriend or your boyfriend. Like, you just, you like the way it is without the titles, okay? And you told them recently that you didn't want more out of this situation, you know, so now they're causing harm or bringing trouble to your home. Okay, they're bringing trouble. This is like stalker behavior, um, dating someone who may be obsessive. Um, yeah, dating someone who may be obsessed, someone who may be uh, puts your home in danger. And it could even be that someone puts your love 
interest in danger. Okay. Now I have a queen of wands here. That could be the person that may be chasing or the stalker. I doubt it because I've never seen a, a fire sign. Not an Aries or Sagittarius. Be the one that becomes obsessive. That might just be the initiative that you need to get going and get going fast. Clarify that queen of wands for me. Let me look at that. King of Pentacles. King of Swords. Okay, so that could be... Let me look at that. That looks so weird to me. Break me down on this King of Pentacles. The Queen of Cups. Oh, shit. Yeah, that, that's infidelity. That is infidelity. Now, see, you know what? Um, Aquarius, maybe you're involved with a, a Pisces or a Cancer. That's the partner that you're involved with. And it's possible that this eerie Sagittarius individual... Because, see, this, this might be going a couple different ways. This looks like it could be a Capricorn or a Taurus. Crazy motherfucker. Okay? Capricorn or Taurus individual. Okay? And then I have the Queen of Wands. This could be a Sagittarius or Aries. All right? And, and it could even be, I don't know. I just know that there's some danger involving these people. This is you, Aquarius. Okay? And then we have the King of Pentacles here. And we have this on the Queen of Wands. But then on the King of Pentacles, I have the Queen of Cups and the Three of Cups. So, it's possible... That maybe, maybe you have a, a Cancer Pisces who you just recently split with or you broke up with. Okay? And maybe this person, maybe this person is demanding a lot of money. Or maybe you got um, some financial, you have some financial ties to this person. This person could be the crazy motherfucker, okay? Especially if it's Pisces. Cause Pisces... Cancer, too. They're both known to be obsessive and stalkerish, okay? Um, maybe you got a business or you, you're in business with this Cancer Pisces or whatever, okay? And maybe, Aquarius, maybe you're trying to move on with this Queen of Wands, all right? Maybe you're trying to settle down with this Queen of Wands, but you got to get rid of her first, all right? I definitely feel that. Yeah, because that's that's kind of like an infidelity. I feel that as like an infidelity circle. Let me Let me break that down real quick. Clarify that three of cups. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Look, yeah, look at that. The chariot and the knight of swords. Yes. Maybe it is that you are involved or have recently been involved with the, uh, with the Pisces or Cancer that you tried to break it off with, okay? And maybe you want to move forward with someone, all right? And this person could possibly be a Aries or a Sagittarius. Maybe that's the person that you want to settle down with, you want to be with. All right, but you have to get away from a, a Pisces or Cancer. This motherfucker's crazy. Okay, I'm I'm serious. With this Knight of Swords and this Chariot popping up like that, this person is crazy. They're very confrontational, very violent. Okay, so it kind of says that maybe you got to move out of town because as long as you live in the state that you you guys both live in together, you and this Cancer Pisces, you know, they're going to make it very hard for you to be able to move on with someone else. And I have this feeling that maybe you got feelings or something you're in love with this Aries Sagittarius person because the lovers is over here. We have judgment and then the Queen of Wands. So maybe... I don't know. I, I feel like this is the woman that you're trying to cut off or the man that you're trying to cut off. This is the person you're trying to cut off because that two of wands is here and then you have the son and the lovers. I feel like you're trying to cut this person off. You're no longer in love with them or you don't want to be with them. Okay. And maybe you got some business ties with this person because it popped up on the King of Pentacles. All right. So maybe you got a business or you're in business with this person or maybe this person is your employee or something like that. All right, that you got sexually involved with, okay, and now you're trying to move on or date a Aries or Sagittarius person, and this Pisces Cancer found out about this Aries Sagittarius, and now they're in danger. That could be what the, that is, okay? They're in danger. The Aries Sagittarius, the new person that you're trying to move on with, is in danger because this. I feel like these are women, okay? So it could be um, Cancer Pisces woman. Okay, 
that is trying to hurt the Aries Sagittarius woman. Okay, because she feels she's in the way. Let me break her down. Break me down on that Queen of Cups. Oh, wow. She might be pregnant, too. This, oh, yeah. Oh, ooh, yeah. Maybe she's pregnant. Maybe she's seven, seven months, or maybe she's two months. Two months pregnant. Okay? This, this, yeah. This Queen of Cups. Cancer Pisces woman. I think that she's pregnant, and I think that you're trying to uh, get away from this person for some reason. Break me down on that Seven of Swords. What, what is he keeping, though? We get the chariot. Yeah, because I, I feel like maybe... Ooh, I don't like the way you're doing this, uh, Aquarius. Yeah. I don't like the way you're doing this. I think that you're... Maybe you're scared of her. Maybe you've had some problems with her. Um, This Cancer Pisces. But it kind of looks like this Cancer Pisces could possibly be pregnant right now. All right? And you're not... You don't want to be with her. It looks like you're trying to jump ship before she gets pregnant. I mean, before the baby comes. All right? You're trying to get out of that relationship before the baby comes. You have another woman or man that you're interested in who happens to be uh, um, a Aries or Sagittarius. All right? And it kind of looks like this person lives a distance from you. Like maybe they're out of town or something like that. Okay? And I feel, because I, I feel like they're out of town because the chariot with the seven of swords, maybe you have to leave and you're leaving town to be with this woman. I don't think that's going to help you much. Let me look at that ten of wands. Judgment. Yeah, the four of cups. Maybe you don't want this baby. Well, I ain't going to say you don't. I'm, I ain't going to say maybe you really don't. Though It looks like you don't want this baby. You don't want to be with this um, Cancer Pisces. You found a woman that you want to be with. Let me break down. Give me the get me into that King of Pentacles. Let me look at that. What is that relationship there? The nine of one. Maybe that's business. That could be business. Long term. Yeah. Ooh. That could be business. Long term business. Long term business plans. I feel like maybe you get like I said, I feel like it, it's already been a challenging situation. Maybe this is business plans okay um working I, I feel like maybe this person is your employee i feel like i'm looking at a male aquarius and the pisces cancer girl is your employee okay and y'all got sexually involved and now she's pregnant and you're trying to get away from this woman okay and it looks like maybe there's a lot of fighting it's, it's a hard thing to do you know it's hard to get away from this woman like she makes it almost impossible so you're trying to sneak out, and you shouldn't do that. You should not sneak out, okay? Um, shit, maybe you have to. I don't know. People are crazy out there nowadays. Maybe you do have to. Because even with the Six of Swords being here, it's like kind of like I'm trying to move on to something else. I do not want this person no more. I don't want to be with them anymore. And you don't want the baby. You don't want the child. You need to strap the fuck up, okay, Aquarius? It's not cool to leave this woman in a situation like that or lead this woman on because I'm sure you let her on. Women don't act crazy out of nowhere. You know what I mean? That comes from lying, you know, telling her you love her, you want to be with her, you want to settle down with her, you know, and she believes that shit, okay? And she gets her emotions, especially, like I said, if it's a water sign, Cancer Pisces, them, those people are all about feelings and love, you know, they live for love, and emotions. Their their emotions run very really, very deep and those gotta be some of the craziest people on the planet, especially if it involves relationship or it involves their heart. I've seen some very damaging, crazy things happen from water signs. Um I think Aquarius that you just need to honest you need to be honest, okay? First you need I don't even know how you're gonna do this, because if this is an employee, somebody that works for you. Unless you're willing to fire them, you're going to have to fire them. But I feel, I, I got a feeling this person brings in a lot of big business because it's the king. So maybe you make a lot of money with, excuse me, you make a lot of money with this person. Let me look at that seven of pentacles. Let's see if something happens down the road. Clarify that seven of pentacles. Ooh. Okay. The four of wands. Yeah. Ooh. Hold up. 
Four of Wands, Nine of Swords, and a Two of Cups. I feel like you guys will be together later on down the line. Like after this baby does come. It looks like a very toxic relationship between y'all. And you're trying to get away right now. Maybe that's what you're scared of. You're scared of actually settling down and getting married. Those things. All the things that's required when you have a baby together. You know, I don't think you're ready for that, Aquarius, honestly. But I think, let me tell you this. My advice to you, Aquarius, would be to just be totally honest. And you need to be totally honest. Let me check the emotions for this person here. You need to be totally honest, okay? And I don't even know how to... I don't know why y'all mix business with pleasure. I do not know why y'all do that. Y'all don't look at the long-term wise, the long-term effects it could have. Um, show me how Aquarius feels about this um, Aries Sagittarius individual. What's going on there? The Nine of Pentacles, okay? And the Star. Well, this woman is very independent. Maybe you like her... Um, you like her independence. You like the fact that she, she don't ask you for anything, don't ask you for much. She's a wholesome woman, you know. Um, I don't see her being crazy and wild, okay? Maybe she reminds you of your mother. That's the woman that you've seen yourself with when you look down at your future. Clarify that, uh, Nine of Pentacles. The Magician. And the Seven of Swords. I, I get this feeling that this shit is cross. I feel like this is what's crossing you. And I think what they're trying to say to you is that that Cancer Pisces person, you're in business or something with that person. You're in business with that individual. So you're not going to be able to cut that other person off in order to be with this eerie Sagittarius. Even though you like everything about her, you like the way she handles business, you like the way she's independent, things like that. You know, I think you're just going through the motions, honestly. You'll probably end up with that um, Cancer Pisces, even though you can't stand it right now. You know, um, obviously you got to be able to stand it. I mean, if the person is pregnant, shit. <laughs> You just need to start being honest with your emotions. Speak up, Aquarius. Aquarius has a hard time uh, voicing their emotions a lot, you know. If you need some help, hit me up. All saying I tarot at gmail.com. Maybe you and your partner hit me up. Shit. Okay? Because y'all got to fix this. This is kind of like, wow, I don't really like this behavior. Um, you're trying to think about sneaking away, Aquarius, and don't do that. That's not going to be good for you, okay? That will probably screw everything up when it comes to your business. Yeah, don't do that. Okay? All right. Make sure you like, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit, hit, your no hit the notification button. If you would like to win a free uh, reading, definitely remind to the beginning and follow the instructions. And I'll see you again very soon next time. Thank you, guys.